Hey, good morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here with the M Live Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. And as I look at the things over the next 10 days, very mild to warm for this time of the year. We always lose touch of reality, of what is normal. Normal highs now in the low 60s in a lot of places, around 60. So when we talk 70, 75, 80, you gotta realize we're talking 10 to 20 degrees above normal. You saw my tease, mild weather coming, and is it for good? Well, I always get roasted on this. You know, I declared in February, winter's over, and we had like some snowflakes. Some places had an inch of snow, and they said, I thought you said winter was over. What I'm saying is that you might have a short window where days will be a high of 60 degrees going forward, but there's gonna be a lot of 70s on the way too, especially the southern half of Michigan. And here's the other thing too, you know, from about Traverse City to Houghton Lake to, let's say Tawas, northward, you have water all around. So it takes a little bit longer for you to warm up. You can be stuck in the 50s, low 60s, while the southern two thirds of the state are well into the 70s, even like yesterday, near 80 degrees. All right, let's get on in tour and show you what's going on. Kind of an interesting sky pattern uh, today, this morning, as we have places with clear skies, Hey, good morning, Veronica Pickett, uh, Nick Schweitzer. Hopefully your apples are doing well. How did they fare? And Donna Ackerman from St. Charles, good morning to you. And Hope Rose, Rosso, thanks for watching. Also, Sherry Taylor. Brandon? I'm just going to call you Brandon M. I don't even know how to start on that one, but I know it's probably a lot simpler than it looks. Um, so, clear skies in the northeast, clear skies in the southwest, some high clouds in the southeast, and a thick kind of low fog bank in the northwest and across UP. Look at that straight line of clouds coming across the north central part of the state. Kind of an odd configuration, and it's real. It's not fake. Don't worry about that. All right, radar shows that uh, dry conditions right now and will stay that way for, uh, depending on where you're at, it, most of us will stay that way until Friday. So we're going to look at the radar forecast now. This is a model that goes out two days and uh, pretty good. Uh, okay, Nick Schweitzer is saying that the fruit crop, at least in the southwest corner, made it through. And so here we go. Today we're dry. Okay, through the afternoon we're dry. Uh, we'll probably, in places that are not seeing sun now, we'll probably see some sunshine. And places that have totally clear skies now, we'll probably see half cloudiness move in and average overall to an off and on sunshine afternoon. This is tonight, so a line of showers swings through, and this is tomorrow morning, and dying out. So you could get an hour of showers in lower Michigan, uh, mostly in the northern part of lower Michigan, and a couple of hours in the UP. Then we're into tomorrow midday, and it's dry also. And uh, tomorrow is also another one of these partly sunny days. And then we go into Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon. And the storm system that will bring a cold front through our area on Friday afternoon with some thunderstorms, maybe with severe thunderstorms, a little bit too far out to worry about that. But that will be approaching on Thursday. But Thursday is still a dry day. Thursday, we get into a southerly flow, really start to warm up, and then you'll see it even more so on Friday ahead of the cold front. Remember that the warmest day is usually just ahead of a cold front. Okay, now I wanna go back and hey, thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update. If you could hit the share button, I'd appreciate it greatly. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. The update brought to you by Consumers Energy. We're going to look at the upper airflow, about 15,000 feet up. And what I can tell you is that us meteorologists, we look at this very closely for the overall average pattern in the next week, in the next two weeks, in the next month. 
it says early summer and I'm gonna show it to you. Um, and again, a cold front will come through and we'll have a day stuck at 60 or 65 in Ann Arbor and 50 or 55 in Traverse City, one out of seven days. And you'll say, I thought summer was here totally. It's not, but it is getting there almost for good. All right, so. So this is the upper airflow. This is the most important map in meteorology. If we all the data goes down and we only have one map, this is what we're gonna look at. 15,000 feet up, basically the lines, the wind flow is parallel to the lines and you'll notice the heights are building as we get into the next couple of days. That means the atmosphere is warming and expanding and it can support a higher temperature at the ground and we get these disturbances. The Pacific is very active. We will have to watch for significant severe weather if this continues for about two weeks because at some point everything will come together over Michigan and we'll have a severe weather outbreak. This is this weekend and the cool front really isn't going to cool us down much and then look as we get into May 7th and we go to May 8th, the ridge building from the south, uh, a heat wave or a warm spell like we used to get a decade or two ago. Hey, good morning, Mark Ambrosi. Uh, two, you know, two decades ago, our heat used to come from the Gulf of Mexico. In the last <laughs> several years, it's come from western and northwestern Canada. But this is May 9th, okay? If this is indicative of the pattern building for the summer, trough out west, ridge in the middle part of the US accentuating, look out, we are hot. Hot, hot, if that is the case. It can change a little bit, but typically, as we get toward late May, early June, we figure that the summer pattern shows. All right, so um, dry today, dry tomorrow, Wednesday morning, uh, I'm sorry, dry today, maybe a quick shower tonight, and you'll notice that the storm systems hitting the Pacific Northwest come at us about every three or four days. Uh, so Friday we get uh, around the thunderstorms and then maybe next Wednesday or so, but you'll notice that the cold air uh, really heading northward and the warmth really building just to our south. Here's another closer look at it for you. So the next true rain in most of lower Michigan, right there, Friday afternoon, Friday evening. The timing there is such that you could get severe weather and uh, dry out for the weekend and maybe another one about midweek of next week. Look at these temperatures. So upper 60s, southern half of the state, well, let's say 60s, Grand Rapids 62, northern half with the clouds and the fog, you're looking at, um, you know, 50s. Then Wednesday, in the 70s for a lot of places, uh, 60s, Traverse City, Cadillac, North, but uh, Ann Arbor, 76, uh, Detroit, 77, Kalamazoo, 71, Lansing, 75, Grand Rapids, 70, Saginaw Bay City, Midland, 73-ish. Thursday, 70s South, 50s North. Friday, maybe our first 80 degree day for Flint and um, Owasso and Howell and Lansing and that area, maybe Ann Arbor and Detroit also 80 degrees. Other spots, 70s. Saturday, mid, low to mid 70s. Sunday, low to mid 70s. Monday, 70s. Next Tuesday, 70s to near 80. Next Wednesday, 70s to near 80. Next Thursday, can you see what I'm talking about? Is that we really looks like uh, we're, we're definitely heading toward an early summer if nothing changes in this. And given the fact that the El Nino is switching to La Nina, I think that might be what's uh, driving this warm spell. And that will only continue. So that means we probably don't look for a pattern change to a cooler, a long lasting, 
cooler pattern as we head into early summer. There you have it. Uh, question, I'm gonna write about this, but you get a little sneak preview. Is frost done again? I, I get I get lambasted if I say yes because the coldest spot in the UP will tell me that I told you frost is done. Frost is likely done, I would say, for the southern half of lower Michigan. You know, draw a line from Standish to Mount Pleasant southward. Frost is probably done. You know, if we're going to be in the 70s, the bay starts warming up, the Great Lakes start warming up, the soil starts warming up into the 60s, it's going to be real hard to have a frost. Northern Michigan, Wolverine, Vanderbilt, uh, Gaylord, those cold pockets, you can have a frost. You normally do have a frost in the second two weeks of May. Not that it's a killing frost. Um, I would say that it would be a lighter frost this year. So my advice start the garden with the things that can only handle the warm weather, but gently, you know, maybe half of the tomatoes you're going to plant or a third, whatever you can cover with some buckets if you need to. Southern Michigan, you probably won't need to, but, you know, I wouldn't want to, you know, if you're a big canner and you plant, you know, 50 tomato plants, you better be able to cover them all. I'd start with 10 in that kind of situation. So, hey, there you go. It's a pretty good looking weather pattern. Get out and enjoy spring. It looks like we're gonna have one this year. And like all most years, it only lasts about two to, two to four weeks. And then here comes good old summer here in Michigan. Hey, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist, Mark Torregrossa.